All right, I just downloaded uh, Sierra, my Sierra, and here's the download file, the DMG file. You open that. Skip that. And install Mac OS. So open that. Install package. And it'll install that package into. Continue, continue, continue. So that will put the file into the installer, an actual installer into the application folder. But it takes about two minutes, so I'll skip that part. Installation was successful. So let's close this. Go to Finder here. The Finder. And we go to Applications and it should be here. There we go. Install Michael S. Sierra right here. Now let's install it via I already got USB here, I name it Mac. Let's let's do a uh, let's make sure it's uh, Mac OS journal, so just utility. Select this one. No, no, wrong one. To be in which one is this one? This one, the Mac right here. So erase. It's in. Uh, let's name it Mac again. Come on, Mac. It's not working. Keep it not working. Mac and Grid, Mac OS Extended Journal, Erase. Sometimes it gives me error for some reason. Let's wait till it's done. It's done formatting it. So it's the pro it's the right uh, format now. Grid here and it's a uh, OS Journal. So let's close this. We don't need this anymore. Now we're gonna try with install this creator and select the volume to become a installer. So the Mac right there. Choose the Mac OS. So it's in our uh, applications. Sierra install or is it that? There you go, that one, open, and watch what happens, erase the disk again, password, and this only happens on Sierra for some reason, everything else so far works see there's an error error encountered an error occurred trying to ejecting the destination disk or reinserting it or rebooting it probably couldn't be unmounted to erase it so that failed now let's try a different software Try Vilena Etcher. I should have opened it earlier. <laughs> Open. Now, flash from file. So, we select application. 
Macroasiera, see, it won't even let me click it, see, nada. I can't click that for some reason, see. I can't choose. Even if I drag it there, let's see. Let me drag it there. Where are you at? Error opening source. Something went wrong while opening opening application macOS Sierra app. Error illegal operation of directory red. See, it does it work. Now let's try the terminal. There's the terminal, and I already uh, the commands are over here. So I'm gonna go change. The Mac OS here, add that, add that volume, the volume to, I name my, my USB Mac, so I just change, erase all these other stuff. You leave, you put the name of the actual USB stick that you name it. Okay, and I have another one here. Let's switch this to the Mac too. If the first one doesn't work, I'll try this one. And it's case sensitive, so make sure you type it right. So, so I'll try this one up here first. Copy. Come on. Not look up. Copy. Copy. Paste. Okay. Type your password. Keep her dying here. Let's wait. And look, nothing is happening again. Volumes is not valid volume format. Volume point, see, this is the problem. Volume Mac is not valid. Point. Let me uh, let's grab. Let me take a screenshot on this one, so I can make this a uh, as a thumbnail. Let's make this my thumbnail. I should have made thumbnail on my other ones too. Anyway, so let's try this one. By the way, the problem is not the USB. It's the share of volume itself. It's the, it's the installer itself the problem. I thought it was the USB stick, but it's not. See, again, volume set is not a valid format. I mean, not, not, the volume point, the volume Mac is not a valid volume mount. The volume Mac is not a valid volume point, mount point. Okay. Let me grab this again. Capture. Window. Now the solution. All right, here's the solution. So I'll leave a description a link below. So copy and paste that. So it took me like almost the whole day for really much looking for this for the answers, and the answer is right here by Eric from Canada. Here is the code that you need to put. You need to change the 12 to the string right here. But he, he did a command already, so double click that. Come on. Copy. Now go to your terminal. Paste. And wait, I don't know why he went that way, so. Let me put my password. 
Come on, keyboard work. Keyboard's acting up today. Don't know why it's acting up. Come on. What? Wrong password. Okay, there you go. Now that fixed that problem. Now we can go here. We can go back to that pseudo, the great media. Uh, where's the great media up here? That one. Copy. Paste. Enter. Now it's working. See that? Now it's erasing the disk. Now, I'll, I'll let that run through. It takes a long time to finish. Now it's just erasing the disk. And I'll, let, I'll show it to you when it's done. So that's how pretty much how you do it. You just need to uh, put this command here. The, the this sudo flutil replace the cf build short version string from so it's added first it erased the right now it's copying the installer to the disk now so um, the 12603 yeah so basically you change it to this 12603 I think I don't know, it's something in there that makes it work. <laughs> that's all I can tell. That's all I can tell you, I'm not a programmer. So that's how you make the installer. So I'm just going to wait till it's done, then I'll, I'll come back and talk to you again. All right, it just finished. We started around 7 23, and now it's 8 07. So it took about close to almost an hour, like 50 minutes. It's a long time. So it's done. Uh, here, see, it says mounting this bootable, copying boot files, copy complete, done. So, finally, almost an hour just to do that. And uh, as you can see, this is the USB now. The name changed to install macOS Sierra. You open that up. Come on, baby, open. See, here's the installer. All right. Today modified the 701 and it's 808. So I don't know what, why is this 701. Who knows? Anyway, oh yeah, cause uh, that's when we started the. Did we uh, this cop? Did we do the this utility on 701? Huh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, or just when we open up the file, who knows? But we stopped playing with it. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's how you uh, uh, make a USB installer for uh, MicroSierra. Sierra. The problem was the installer itself and not your USB. So all you need to do is do this thing here, the sudo flutil replace CF bundle something short version string slash slash string 12.6.03. All right. And the whole thing, uh, I'm a, I don't know if I'm gonna put this. Uh, okay, I'll I'll put the this on the description below, and the link to the thing to, to that Eric guy, Eric from Canada guy. All right, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Hopefully, you don't have this problem because it takes a long time to search for the solution. I didn't see any video how to do it, so that's why I'm making this video so you guys don't have to. Spend pretty much the whole day looking for a solution. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Aloha.